Hello, welcome back to Brandon Shishlam Noting. In this episode, I want to share this simple node tree setup in Geometry Nodes. That's basically um, kind of separating any 3D objects into plates. And then you can turn it into this type of artworks. Kind of like a hollows and it's like, it's very kind of like a wabi-sabi. It's kind of like old things and then it that kind of like deteriorated and it becomes yeah, something like this. How is this possible? Uh, I'm using the new nodes in Geometry Nodes. It's called the Blur Attribute Nodes. This actually works with Float, Integer, Vector, and Color. So you can use Color if you are using like a image texture. You can plug this into Blur node. And yeah, you can blur the color. So that's basically the idea. Um, last night I actually I saw this video by default cube and yeah I think the video is really good enough uh, for introductions to blur node uh, just take a look at this video yourself um, I will link in my video but what what I'm doing here um, is actually using a face set face set boundaries you know uh, if you are using, if you have an object, for example, and then you blur, uh, you subdivide it many times, simple, just convert it back to mesh, and then you go to sculpt mode. There is something called face set here, draw face set, and I really like this tool a lot because whenever you kind of paint your brush it's gonna create a new plate maybe I should have uh, more resolutions but if you hold shift and you paint on it it's kind of blurring the area so it's creating kind of like a Foronoi uh, pattern on the objects and you kind of blur it uh, you can control this face set and then the blurring just by using the tool so I really like that tool, so I decided, okay, I think we can use something simil similar with geometry nodes. And of course, the, the face set itself, uh, face set boundaries, is something that you can... This is the example that actually I'm using and remix a little bit. So I turn, turn it into something like this. So yeah, the blur attribute nodes is being used twice in this case. Uh, so I started with this Voronoi. I'm actually multiplying the Voronoi over here to have more control based on the position. Uh, let me explain how this works. It's actually really simple. I am splitting. I'm splitting uh, the geometries using the Voronoi pattern. So whenever there is like a different color, so with the with the white noise here, we are turning this Voronoi into different color like this. So it's like a we are creating fa face set boundaries on the fly. Whenever there is like a really uh, high contrast between color, we're gonna separate it into different plates. So that's exactly what's happening here. And the blur attributes is kind of helping with that let me turn off the waiting okay so it's creating this kind of plates I wish I could just uh, smooth this out uh, it's yeah it's just messing basically messing out uh, messing with the topology of the geometry and then the blur attribute is kind of blurring the position so we have like uh, the, the effects is actually similar to smooth modifier over here right it's kind of fancy looking like that so yeah this is the whole setup it's really simple so geometry geometry coming in and then it says okay split the edges using the face set boundaries edges and define the face set boundaries itself using Photoroid texture <clears throat> and then the white nose 
and the blurring is just actually helping to smooth the pattern yeah so we have like a, some kind of like like a Frankenstein looking Suzanne and the donuts if we actually increase the subdivisions of Suzanne we can get a smoother pattern so as a result with geometry nodes after we cut out the parts into different uh, plates we simply blur the position so I'm using set position and then just blur from the original position just blur the vector so we get uh, this type of plates the cool thing about this node is it's actually really really fast uh, you should try it yourself with the image nodes image texture and just bring in an image and then apply it into the objects and then you blur the attributes um, inside geometry nodes so yeah this is one basic example but I think it's really cool and then after I separate the plate I extrude the mesh out so it's a little bit like a solidify similar effects and we can control the for the noise and the white noise the white noise also also give some effects and the multiplier also if you want more lines or less lines we need to experiment with this there you go so the effects kind of like a wavy like a kind of like watery type things but they're all yeah it's being generated procedurally so of course you you can use other than Voronoi uh, noise texture will work as well I believe the effects is really kind of similar and you can animate this pattern yeah I've seen some arts sculpture that looks a little bit like this it's very much probably it's a little bit primitive but also it's really beautiful I, I found so yeah if we if we didn't blur it so much over here try 50 we get a slight different variations maybe kind of like a more subtle if you check out like Australian Aboriginal painting they also have this type of art it's kind of like a terrain it's very nature it's very close to nature um, in a way yeah anyway I've I've been playing around with similar patterns for many years with nodes the nodes making it really easy to make this uh, I don't know what this is for but I think it's looking very cool so thanks for the blur attributes uh, I think it's gonna be really handy with a lot of things um, default cube okay he said that he will try to make like a auto retopology using the blur so that's possible I think the face set itself can be really handy for that so manually paint your face set and then use it to make like a smooth retopo tools kind of yeah that's the idea anyway that's hopefully you find this useful thanks again for the in and I'll see you next time thank you bye